Oh, come on. That can't be it, right? That's the one you're gonna go out on? <laughs> but we were so close. This was going great. We were vibing. I mean, I, I can't be the only one that thought that the chemistry was palpable tonight, right? I mean, I'm not blind. I see the lip biting and the, the, the hair flipping and I know I'm not that funny. And, and truth be told, I needed this. It has been a minute and frankly, you are a snack, but I only date black guys? The fuck am I supposed to do with that? You couldn't wait until after we danced the sideways tango to tell me that I'm like your fetish? Does that actually work on people? Like, really, honestly, does it? I'm serious. Please, please tell me that this has worked on somebody before. I've spent this entire day trying to come across as a man of principles, but goddamn men are inherently weak. You know this, and I'm sure as hell no different. Uh, truthfully, if I were to take you home right now, I don't think that I'd be able to look at myself in the mirror, which is a damn shame, because I am sure that you know what you look like, and you best believe this is taking all of my willpower. But then again, the fact that you haven't left yet means that somehow me denigrating your weird, fetishistic, box-marking objectification of black men whilst simultaneously having an existential crisis isn't a turnoff. Which is... Huge for me. Um, I mean, trust, your man has a hole he needs to fill, and it has been a while, and seriously, why haven't you left yet? I just outed myself as full of shit and constitutionally weak as hell and rightfully insulted your pornographic, reductive, interracial dating preferences, you can't still honestly want, well, anything from me, right? I mean, do you? <laughs> Yours are mine.